Oh, damn. Something big and hairy goes there. I want all of the skizzers, please. It looks like a building belonged on the snowy mountain, but where is it? Calming flute! Excellent. I think this is gonna be a mimic. Phrasing grit. Wait, oh, you're talking about me. Phrasing. Oh, I think our little mimic wants to be calmed. Oh, what sweet music that is. Monster! It's the Monster Mash. Oh, look at that. It has a freaking Excalibur through his body. That thing is horrifying. Huh. Crazy. So where do I put the record? Oh, look at these beautiful things. <gasps> Those mouths look dangerous. I need a way to get rid of them before I can remove the roots. It's a crime not to say skizzers when you see skizzers. Yeah, exactly. When I see skizzers, I call them skizzers. <laughs> good call, good call. Collectible, I totally forgot. Cat, cat, help me out here. Oh, what's this thing? What the, is that a tentacle at my feet? Uh, what is the collectible? It's supposed to be puzzle pieces and like morphing or something, right? Why do most video games have treasure chests become mimics? Ah, it's just a trope. It's kind of adorable, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. There is a lot of interesting things going on in here. Let's have a look at our map. Yeah, we definitely have missed our collectibles, but... Oh, hello there. So they look like they're like elves... Uh, like little statues, I guess. Stingy Jack. Troll. Okay, like little monster statues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, those monster statues, there are only 12 of them. And then the morphing objects, there's one in each scene here. So it looks like it's on the pole and then in the window. Okay, let's get a sense of what we're looking for here. So it's whatever this is, which I don't know what that is. Like, what was that? I have no idea. Um, there's supposed to be something here. Like, I know it's here, but I don't know what it is. Okay, maybe I don't know what it is. Oh, oh, it's actually, that one looked like a pumpkin, I guess, sort of. <laughs> Gibbs, do you like games like Dark Souls? Um, Dark Souls. Are you talking like Souls, like adventure games? Like Bloodborne and like, um, what's the one that came out earlier? Like you're talking about those kind of RPG, like the Japanese kind of action adventure games? I, I like their style. I don't like their game mechanics. But I did play the one that came out earlier this year, like, a lot. That was the only one that I really enjoyed. I always love Until Dawn. Yeah, that's a good game for sure. Okay, so, um, let's find out what our little hint book's telling us. Okay, so over here. Scale? Oh, okay, that actually belongs there. Elder Ring, yes, yes, yes. Elden Ring, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that was the one that, oh, we got on our hand. That was the one I played earlier this year. I had a, a lot of fun with it. Yeah, 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 no, I have that one. 
I don't know how, but the villager's symbol imprinted itself on me. It gave me a surge of strength, as if the villagers of Lungo are lending me their power. Another page of the Black Book. Okay, we have to place our objects here. According to legend, a sorcerer named Barlow once lived in a village called Black Plains that stood on these very grounds. He gave the citizens of Black Plains terrible nightmares that reflected their vices. Oh, damn. Reflected their vices? Uh-oh, chat. We're in trouble. Quick, hide all your vices. They're going to be in your nightmares soon. The villagers were able to use the opposites of these vices to end the nightmares and defeat Barlow? Peace to war, I guess, or whatever? Okay. Putting it all back together now. Peace to war! Well, I don't even know what this is. Someone needs an eye? Spiders aren't my cup of tea, but they deserve to see. Apparently that's a big old eye for its back or something. Hmm. So does this go here? Nope. And then the last item, which I think is a lighter. There we go. They're going to remove my Wi-Fi? The horror! No! Yeah, yeah, cat. That's the one vice you should be afraid of. Actually, I think that vice allows you to commit other vices, if you know what I mean. I mean, I, I'm, I don't know for a fact, but... Okay, what are we doing with all these things? Um, I guess they have to go here then, right? Okay, yeah, now I see it. Peace for war, medicine for the plague. Bread for the starving. Birth or growth or living trees for death, I guess. Mmm. Yeah, the new one came out this recently, The Lord of the Fallen. It's another one of those Souls games. Yes, the opposite symbols work. That should help me figure out how to deal with the Black Book's other pages. We got some pruning shears. Crosby with the two goals. What happened to... Oh no. The score. Three... Nothing for the flightless birds who like to cuddle in cold spaces. It's that friggin' Canadian. He's always scoring, you know? My other favorite Canadian. Hold on, guys. I'll save you. Did it look like they needed saving? And what's with this piano music? There should be another page of the book nearby. I need to keep an eye out. What the hell are these things? Hey, guys. I don't know what these things are, but they have something I need. And they look hungry. That was one of our 12 collectibles. And that was our puzzle piece. Our record player needs to go on there. But we need like the speaker horn thingy. I won't be able to listen without the horn. I'm getting horny in here. Okay, that was, that was just too easy. Ooh. My mother used to make these for Halloween, and she would only hand them out to people she knew. Candy apples. Yeah, she used to also make, home make the costumes, because we couldn't afford to buy them, 
So she would like home make the costumes. So I remember one of my favorites. There's a soccer ball. Because I was playing soccer when I was youngster. So she made me into a soccer ball. So, um... But it was kind of sad because I didn't have the physique <laughs> for a soccer ball, so she had to like put a pillow in me to make me look more round. I was more like a football, I think, than a soccer ball. Mm-hmm. Look at this, standing on that snack. The noodle. Not quite there yet. Oh, the candy apples don't go back. Hmm. Are they gonna tickle your toes? They might just do that. So I need four of those. I only have one. I think they want the candy apples. Here you go, uh, my friends. <laughs> Yum. Wait, did you guys share or what? Thank you for the horn. Now we can satisfy our vice. For music! We have a vice for music. Stamp handle and a spoopy hotel. Cool. We now have a stamp seal and a hypnosis pendant. Interesting. Oh, okay. We need dye or something? Probably. Hypnosis pendant. Who the heck are we going to hypnotize? This ladder is extremely sus here. I should fix the scales and find something that outweighs the sack of gold. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. They're going to eat your toes? Oh my goodness. Uh, what are we doing? What's our tasks here? We need to find and destroy the second page. Looks like this statue's had a jam sandwich. What? Looks like we gotta go back here. Okay, let's go back one. The pendant must go here? Because we're hypnotizing the skulls. Obviously. Letter of gratitude. I want to thank you to the Town Museum for organizing a foundations and raising funds to help educate gifted children from underprivileged family. That's super sus. Bingo. You got a bingo, did you? Proof of generosity. Uh, who gets it? Come and get your generosity. I guess we're going to scale it, aren't we? This... This weighs more than gold? Hmm. I don't think it's all... Here. Where is this thing? Ah, the dagger. Got it! We now have four out of four. An example of generosity should deal with the second page. There's just one more left to tackle. The whole story of your mom making costumes is wholesome? Well, she, she was a seamstress. Like, that was her kind of like her little hustle, her side hustle. I mean, I think I've said this before, right? Like, when I was younger, I would, like, model her creations. Uh, gender not required to put on a dress. Uh, so, anyways, moving right along. Just skip over what I just said there. So we have the sewing kit. I think we can go back here and sew our little creepy doll friend. It's the weight of the words. Yeah, I guess so. Generosity weighs more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great way to put it. 
Gentle solvent. Oh. Dirty cipher? What the hell? Why is the cipher dirty? Oh! <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> We're gonna get gentle with our dirty cipher, okay? Be gentle! Wait. <laughs> what the hell happened there? I need to remove the residue, but must be careful not to damage it. Got it! Then we're using our gentleness to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, stamp of a pardon. Interesting. I think we're going to go ahead and put that right on here. Oh, nifty. Everything's rotatey. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, this is very squishy. Oh, wow. We're getting handsy in here. Eyeball? Skull? Wasn't this a skull? Yes, it was. I think that goes with this one. Hmm. Nope. Ah, uh, I had a 50-50 chance for that one. We got it. Whoa. This Craven is just over here watching us with his beady red eyes. I was right about the pages. They are sources of evil. Destroying the pages. Something, something. Yeah, like my mother was a seamstress, so she would, um, you know, she would do boy clothes, girl clothes, and, you know, sometimes you had to, like, Try it on for fit for the client, so to speak. There is no trace of Shannon George. My only clue is this symbol. I should try to translate its meaning. How the hell do I do that? Oh, it looks like it belonged down here, though. Ah, we need our cipher, our dirty cipher. We need to clean that dirty cipher. I mean, I'm not going to say that high heels were required in such a situation, but who knows? You had to be there. Oh, display key. Very lovely. A couple of gravestones are missing. Oh, I think this is going to go here. We got things. The tools of Eleanor, the fortune teller, according to legend, her crystal ball once helped to dispel mystery. Wasn't this in the last game? I feel like this was in the last game. Or am I getting my Eleanor's mixed up? There's a strange mist around this display. Maybe the missing items have ma magical properties. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Well, I think our dirty cipher needs to get uh, cleaned up here. Looking good. Is it now a clean cipher? Oh, not clean. It may still be dirty, but now we can see it. In all its glory. Now I just need to identify the symbols on the page. We have an address. Interesting. Speaking of dress, we have an address. Mm -hmm. I had to model as a punk for a school project. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. Let's all have a road trip to Spirit Halloween. And have an adventure. 
Okay, we're supposed to be here, but we're missing a collectible. Uh, I can only do one at a time here. Did we not get this collectible already? I thought it was on the pillar. Unless there's a little statue somewhere I don't see. 